So let's start. First, we will create a vector of vector and we will name it prefix. Okay. So we have created our prefix sum array. We have not defined a size. So we, what we will do here, we will write prefix is equals to matrix. So now we have defined the size. Our prefix sum, our prefix sum matrix is equal to the matrix. Okay. Now what we will do, we will try to do the pre-processing. We'll try to calculate the values of prefix sum array. Okay. So prefix dot size i plus plus and j is equals to zero while j is less than what prefix of zero dot size the number of columns j plus plus now what first if if i and j both are zero if i is equals to zero and and j is equals to zero what we are doing there if i and j both are zero, we have we have simply written the value of matrix zero comma zero because in this zone I only have one element and that is this one, right? So if i is equal to zero and j is also equal to zero, so prefix of i j is equal to matrix of i j. Okay, now let's talk about rows and columns. Else if i is equal to zero or else if j is equal to zero. In both the cases, what we will do? Prefix here, prefix of i comma j, i j is equal to prefix of i j minus one a left column plus matrix of ij. Similarly, if, if j is equal to zero, what we will do? We'll write prefix of ij is equal to prefix of i minus one j a matrix of ij. Now in else, prefix of ij is equal to what? The top value that will be prefix of i minus one j. The left value that will be what prefix of i j minus one. Subtract subtract what we will subtract the diagonal value that is what prefix of i minus one j minus one, and then we will add what matrix then we'll add matrix of ij okay done yes so now we have successfully created our prefix sum array and we have uh, filled all the values right now we will simply use it we will simply use it our answer will be currently zero answer plus is equals to what let's say this is a this is b i'm renaming it okay no problem in that this is C and this is D. Okay. First, we will add prefix a bigger chunk of value, right? It will be prefix of C comma D. Now what? Prefix of C comma D minus prefix of A minus one comma D. Okay. Let's subtract answer minus is equal to prefix of A minus one comma D. Okay. Then prefix of C minus prefix of C comma B minus one and then plus of prefix of A plus one, A minus one, B minus one. Okay. Answer minus equals to prefix of C, B minus one and then answer plus is equal to prefix of prefix of what? A minus one and B minus one, right? Okay, done. And at the end we have to return answer. But this might give us runtime error. Why? Because A minus one, if our A is zero, 
a minus one will be minus one. If our b is zero, b minus one will be minus one. If our a and b both are zero, it can it can also give us my uh, runtime error, right? So we'll simply write a check. We will only subtract if a minus one is greater than or equal to zero. Okay. We will only subtract this if b minus one is greater than or equal to zero. And in the last case, if both a minus one is greater than or equal to zero, and then b minus one is greater than or equal to zero, then only we will add this value. Okay. So after doing this, I think the job is done. The job is done. So we will simply run it. Okay. Now let's run. Okay, it is getting accepted. It's submitted. Okay, it is getting submitted, right? So I have already told you the time complexity of this will be constant, right? Because we are just accessing the values here, nothing more. And the time complexity for pre-processing, what we are doing here will be and cross M done. And of course the space complexity, we are using a, using a 2D matrix. So the space complexity will also be N cross M. Okay. So yeah, that's all. That's all for this question. So it was a simple question, right? A simple question, it's very important question because this topic, this 2D matrix, 2D prefix matter topic is very important in terms of interview as well as competitive coding. Okay. If you really like my explanation, please share this video with your friends and your classmates. And please like this video and please make sure to comment on this video because your comment will really motivate me to make better videos. Thanks for watching and keep putting in the next video. Talk.